In an interview with the Daily Caller's Ginny Thomas that was published on Sunday, Golden expresses views on American culture that are similar to what listeners might hear on Limbaugh's radio program. Isn't a shame that the good old days were the days when things were segregated legally in this country? He opines. The good old days, when two-parent families were the norm in the black community, and they were, two-parent families were the norm back during segregation days. Howard University was graduating doctors and lawyers who were qualified, not through affirmative action, but genuinely qualified through hard work and merit by the score, he continues. And there was this sense we were achieving against all the odds, and we were going to push and break through. Those were during the days of segregation. Golden charges that liberalism has done horrific things to the black community, like allowing doctors who break abortion laws. And he said that the current pinnacle of black music is misogynistic, violent, gangster rappers who are so illiterate that they can't put five sentences together to make a paragraph. How did the people who are leading the world's art form in music degenerate into this depravity that calls itself the music industry right now in terms of black culture? He asks. How did we get where we've got some girl humping her booty up and down, and that's considered the state of black art? It's disgraceful in this country. And what took us there? People following this liberal ride down all the way. Later in the interview, Golden blame liberals raising the minimum wage for surging gang membership, 